Okay then, we're now going to move on to our overheads for recording the drum kit, the overall sound. As far as... I'll start again. Okay, the last microphones that we're going to look at on the drum kit are overheads. And probably the most important microphones on any drum kit. For the simple reason that it captures the overall image of the kit in its true context, i.e. it captures a little bit of everything without zooming in on any specifics and it can give the most natural representation of what the drummer is playing. So a great consideration must be put into this mic choice. Condensers is an obvious one because it's got high frequency content in here as well. Position wise, you can probably start off as an example, I've got two Behringer C2 microphones here your probably basic setup could be straightforward an XY setup over the drum kit like so. You could even look at something like an ORTF position which would be something like that. But the position I'm going to set up today is space pairs which will end up looking something more like that and that's what I'm going to set up now. Right then, moving on to our overhead microphones. The mic I've got at the moment is Audio Technica AT4033. Very good quality condenser microphone, ideal for overheads, okay? The pad switch is on zero decibels. The low cut switch is flat at the moment. I can sort out that later on on the desk if I need to, so I'm just going to keep that as it is. Just be aware with this microphone that the diaphragm is facing downwards. The logo is at the front of the microphone, so the sound is picking up from this area here. As I move it into the kit now and move it above, my minimum distance from the kit, I'd probably say, is going to be around about three foot. Anything lower than that, and we'll start to speak, it'll become more of a Tom mic or even a, a cymbal microphone, which is not what we want. We want it to be a general pickup of the kit. I'm going to probably come up to around about this distance here, which I'm probably guessing is around about one, two, maybe three foot above, maybe just a little bit more. Okay, and in this position here, I'm going to have a quick look. And I can see that the diaphragm is pointing this area here and I want it to pick up more in that area there. So I will just quickly adjust it, the angle like so. And as a starting position, that's looking pretty good. Okay then, this is our second microphone for our overhead. So we're gonna get a nice stereo picture of the kit. And pretty much this needs to mirror the height angle of my first microphone. And it's going to be picking up the right hand side of the kit. Okay, so I've got the angle pretty much right. I'm just going to lift it up until I get roughly to where my second microphone is, which is probably somewhere round about there. Okay then, so I'm sat behind the drum kit now. Um, just by using my arms, I can roughly work out that that is roughly the width of the kit. All right. Now, if I come down the middle of that, I get a center line, which is pretty much running straight down the middle of the kit. And I use that center line then to position my two space pair condenser microphones above the kit. That technique for the overheads is a traditional space pair record. Right, uh, both of my overhead microphones are set up and I'm happy with the position. Uh, what's happening pretty much now overall is the fact that if I imagine a centre line down the whole of the kit, which is here, this microphone is pretty much responsible for all the sounds on this side of the kit. Okay, so on the right hand side of the kit here now, from this imaginary line down, We've got this microphone, which is now going to pick up everything over here. So we've got the two toms and the cymbal. When these microphones are mixed together in Pro Tools, and we can pan them left and right, hopefully then we get the true image of what the kit is actually doing. Okay, one problem that can happen with space pairs, uh, especially with recording with overheads, is phase anomalies. And we can appreciate that this snare drum potentially will reach that microphone ever so slightly quicker than that microphone.
okay? And it might result in certain elements of the sound being cancelled out or lost. Okay, this is where we can use the spot microphones to our advantage because by, in, by increasing the, the spot microphone in the balance, we can actually correct and hopefully reinforce the true sound.